Welcome to this video, which is titled Echoes of Honor, Transformation Amidst War. This is the story of Achilles and Priam from the Greek mythology. In the epic poem, The Iliad, both Priam, the king of Troy, and Achilles, the greatest warrior of the Greeks, undergo a significant transformations amidst the Trojan War. Here is an analysis of their characters and their evolution from despair to determination through five major triggering events. First is death of Patroclus. The triggering event is the Achilles' close friend Patroclus is killed by Hector, the Trojan prince. Hector is the son of Priam. This has a great effect on Achilles. This event shatters Achilles emotionally. He feels immense grief and guilt for not having protected Patroclus. The transformation at this point is Achilles is consumed by rage and vengeance. He resolves to rejoin the battle, determined to avenge Patroclus' death and honor his memory. This makes a shift from his previous withdrawal from the war. The second point is Priam's plea for Hector's body. The triggering event is Priam, grief-stricken by the death of his beloved son Hector, ventures into the Greek camp to beg Achilles for return of Hector's body for an honorable burial. This has a great effect on Achilles. This encounter humanizes Achilles and evokes empathy in him as he sees Priam's profound sorrow. And what is the transformation? Achilles experiences a moment of compassion, realizes the universal nature of loss and grief. He agrees to return Hector's body to Priam, showing a newfound understanding of mercy and honor even amidst brutality of war. Number three is Priam's journey to Achilles. The triggering event is Priam embarks on a perilous journey to Achilles' tent, risking his life to plead for Hector's body. And what is the effect on Priam? This journey signifies Priam's resilience and determination to honor his son, uphold his duty as father and a king. And what transformation takes place? Priam's courage and humility touch Achilles deeply. His willingness to confront the enemy and to appeal to Achilles' humanity demonstrates his inner strength and resolve. And number four, Achilles' reconciliation with the Agamemnon. Triggering event is Achilles reconciles with Agamemnon, the Greek king, who offers reparation for their past conflict. Effect on Achilles, this reconciliation signifies a restoration of honor and unity among the Greek forces. And what transformation takes place? Achilles sets aside his personal grievances and prioritizes the collective goal of defeating Troy. He recognizes the importance of solidarity and cooperation in achieving victory. And finally, number five, Achilles' duel with Hector. Triggering event is Achilles confronts Hector in a one-to-one -one duel seeking retribution for Patroclus' death. Effect on Achilles, this duel is a culmination of Achilles' quest for vengeance and justice. And what transformation takes place in Achilles? Despite this overwhelming superiority in combat, Achilles shows no restraint on honor by allowing Hector a proper burial after defeating him. This act reflects Achilles' growth beyond mere wrath and highlights his ad adherence to the principle of honor and respect even in the midst of war. Through these pivotal events, both Priam and Achilles undergo a profound transformations, moving from despair and grief to determination and resolve. They transcend their personal tragedies to embody virtues such as compassion, courage, honor, ultimately shaping the outcome of Trojan War and leaving a lasting legacy in Greek mythology. The emotional and ethical significance of these events in one's personal life can be profound and resonant. And it is important that we examine this as a result of what this mythology tells us. Number one, loss and grief. Emotionally, experiencing loss and grief is universal and deeply impactful. Whether it is loss of a beloved one, a cherished dream, or a significant opportunity, it can lead to feelings of despair, guilt, and even anger. However, 
Confronting these emotions is crucial for personal growth and healing. The next virtue is compassion and empathy. The ability to empathize with others' suffering, as demonstrated by Achilles, when he sees Priam's grief, is essentially for fostering deeper connections and understanding in personal relationships. It reminds us of the shared human experience of pain and loss, leading to greater compassion and empathy towards others. Next is resilience and determination. Priam's journey to Achilles takes the importance of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. It teaches us that even in the darkest moments, summoning the courage to preserve and confront challenges head-on can lead to profound personal growth and transformation. Forgiveness and Reconciliation The act of forgiveness, as seen in Achilles' reconciliation with Agamemnon, is a powerful ethical principle that promotes healing and reconciliation in personal relationship. It requires letting go of past grievances and embracing a spirit of reconciliation and cooperation, ultimately fostering a greater harmony and unity. Honor and integrity. Both Priam and Achilles demonstrate a commitment to honor and integrity throughout their respective journeys. Priam's determination to honor his son's memory and Achilles' adherence to principles of honor in his treatment of Hector's body highlight the importance of integrity and moral fortitude in one's personal conduct. In conclusion, incorporating these emotional and ethical lessons into one's personal life can lead to greater resilience, empathy and integrity. They are reminders of the importance of confronting adversity with courage, fostering compassion and understanding in our relationship and upholding principles of honor, integrity in our action. Ultimately, these lessons can contribute a deeper sense of meaning and fulfillment in one's personal life. Thank you for watching and listening and have a great life.